Welcome and thanks for checking out this video. I'm Mark Young. I should change this to Bad Luck Productions because this is a reenactment. I was snow blowing the driveway and I noticed that the bottom cover to the transmission just slid on out and fell on the ground and one of the two metal screws holding it on was gone and the other one still in the cover was apparently stripped out from the body of the machine. So there you have it. Time to get it fixed. Okay, so here's the back end of the snowblower. The cover slides in these two tracks, these lips here, right down in. Yeah, just about. Uh, lined up down at the bottom there, just like that. So here are the screws that I use, or here's one of them. Now, what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is, well, what I could do is weld in the holes on the top part of the back of the frame, put some weld in there, drill them out for with a smaller hole so I can re-tap them with some metal screws, or I can use these bottom sets of holes that are a little bit bigger, and I found a bolt will probably slide right up through those holes and just need to find a way to keep them in place. Hmm, maybe using the welder. I bought a, a bolt takes a quarter inch nut and a washer. And I'm gonna put this bolt up through the hole here. I'm gonna weld it from the back side so it's permanently there. And then when I put the cover on, I can use the washer and this nylon nut to hold the cover in place from there after. And so I think what I'll do is thread the nut onto the bolt to hold it here. It'll probably ruin the nylon insert, but I've got three others that I bought all together. So I can uh, use this one for something else once it's all melted and put the good ones on for, to the finished product. Let's feed it up through the hole here, get the nut started. And again, I just want to use the nut to hold the bolt in place so I can weld it there. And it's on low power. This is my 90 amp Harbor Freight uh, AC welder that I've converted to DC electro negative. And it's plugged into an extension cord, 110 volt. This is 030 wire. Found the 035 doesn't uh, melt as well. Okay, and I can smell the plastic from the nylon insert melting off. There it goes. So there's no question it's putting plenty of heat into the work. And that seems to have secured the bolt. Time to reposition and do the other side. I'm gonna get that nut off first. Got things repositioned. The bolt and the nut on the opposite side. nothing left of that nylon insert now and now the moment of truth line this up the slot goes in here then watch the bottom there it goes there look at that all right put a washer on each side Nut on each side. There, she's all lubed up and the cover is secure. No more stripped out screws to deal with. I don't think these will bother ever again. I think they're on there for the life of the machine. And by the looks, I'd better get a hold of some John Deere green, huh? There she is. All back together. 
I would say better than new, maybe not just good as new, and ready to go. Bring on the next snowstorm. Thanks for watching my video, and please subscribe, and if you've already subscribed, thank you. Glad to have you on board.